It wasn't until mid-April that the federal agency responsible for overseeing nursing homes announced that facilities like this would be required to report all their cases, um, and the government would publish that data. Um, it seemed like good news that the federal government was finally at least going to collect that information and publish it. That data, such as it is, as it is fin finally arrived last week. Does that data finally help us get our heads around how big the problem is and how, pro how, how bad the problem has been in nursing homes in these places where the most Americans have died from this thing? Well, how good is the data that they just released? Well, for example, if you look up in these new federal statistics, the Life Care Center of Kirkland, Washington, the place where we know there was that first terrible fatal outbreak, uh, the new federal data on nursing homes show zero deaths at that facility even though we know dozens of people who lived there died from this virus. From the New York Times, quote, the federal government undercounted the number of virus deaths in U.S. nursing homes. Local coverage in Indianapolis, Indiana, quote, government data about COVID-19 in dirt nursing homes is deeply flawed. Local coverage in Texas, quote, feds nationwide nursing home data expansive but incomplete. The Connecticut Post compared their federal, the federal data, the released by the Trump administration, with what the state offered and found, quote, the numbers from the federal government at best paint half the picture and are far less accurate than available state figures. The discrepancies were vexing enough that the Detroit Free Press just said that they would flat out not be listing detailed information on individual facilities without more vetting, meaning the federal government published data that they said was representative of what was going on in individual nursing homes, including those in and around Detroit. And in Michigan, the Detroit Free Press looked at those numbers and thought they were so bad and so wrong, they would not publish them or repeat them. That's what the Trump administration has done in terms of nursing homes and data. The families of people who live in nursing homes had asked for data. What they got was an absolute mess. It's kind of like what we're learning has happened as nursing homes have begged for protective equipment for their staff. Uh, you might remember Vice President Pence making a big photo op out of delivering boxes to a nursing home while not wearing a mask alongside his press secretary, who later tested positive. Um, you know, that's politics, right? The big photo op. Here's the on-the-ground reality. The Wall Street Journal now reporting, quote, nursing homes say some protective gear sent by FEMA is unusable. Quote, the blue gowns were large and not fitted, requiring tape to secure them, nursing home executives said. To remove them would require ripping them, likely exposing the wearer to the virus if the gown had been contaminated. One nursing home administrator describing the gowns as, quote, glorified garbage bags. So here we are, the federal government sending gowns that are glorified garbage bags or that look like gardening tarps, gowns in some cases that don't have armholes in them, sending those to healthcare workers at nursing homes, where we still don't have a clear sense of how many people are getting sick, how many people are dying or have died. I mean, we've been talking about nursing homes as being the most dangerous place for Americans in terms of this epidemic for months now. You would think that having months to work on it while tens of thousands of Americans die in these facilities would at least give the federal government a little bit of a chance to get its act together when it comes to these facilities, right? When it comes to the riskiest place on earth in terms of coronaviruses, right? We've got the worst epidemic on, in the country, sorry, in the world, and the place where more Americans are dying from this virus is in nursing homes. The federal government regulates them. What is it doing? Not counting what's going on there and sending them junk and telling them good luck, pose for the photo op. This is not getting any better. The fact that the nursing home problem is old now doesn't mean it's improving. This is, in fact, a deepening crisis where a U-turn is desperately needed.